one of the most catastrophic times in our recent financial history had to be 2008. Because of all the fraudulent activities happening within the housing sector, many people got destroyed in the stock market. A lot of people lost anywhere from 30 to 50% of their total portfolio if they were investing in the stock market. Now, because of these times, when we hear the words recession, it brings a very distaste in our mouths. However, with every rain, there is shine. Recessions bring economic booms after, and after every low, there is a peak. And realistically, the most fortunes are really made right after a recession because everything is cheap, everything is on sale, and you can invest at the low and really ride all the way to that high. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys the five different ways that you can invest in this recession and really make some money and wealth for yourself. Hi, my name is at Fly Stew on Instagram. You're listening to the Uneducated Investor Podcast, the podcast where we connect investing to business. Now leave a like on this video, please. It really helps the algorithm, really helps this video get out there. And my question of the day to you guys is what stocks have you invested in in the past five years and what have your, been your big winners? Let me know down below in the comments and let's get better at investing together. Now, if you have any money in stocks right now and you've been in the market, you can see that the market has been taking a huge plunge. Single day highest losses have been recorded this month. And a lot of people are looking and asking, is it a recession? Recessions happen around every nine years. And we right now, since the last one was around 2007, 2008, it's around 2019 now. It seems that we are about due for one. So the question remains, if we are due for a recession, how do we invest? I have five different ways that you can invest and make sure that you take advantage of what's happening in our economy. Way one, you want to invest in high dividend stock ETFs. That is because normal ETFs that consist of stocks that follow an index such as the S&P 500, these are correlated to the S&P 500. So when the S&P 500 goes up in value, then your ETF goes in value. When it goes down in value, then your ETF goes down in value. So if the market was to drop 30% and you were invested in these ETFs that mirror the overall S&P 500 index, which is essentially the top 500 companies, if you're an ETF that mirrors it, when the market does down by 30%, you're going to get wiped out by 30%. However, with a high dividend ETF, such as SPHD, that's a ticker, or you can look up any ones of your own. There's great ones. You just have to do the research. These ones move less to the market. They're less volatile. And that's because when someone has a stock that pays out a dividend, it gives them income. So there's less reason for them to sell it. However, if they're holding a stock that does not pay out a dividend and you can only make money off of capital gains, such as an Amazon or a Facebook, these companies that pay little to no dividends. The only way to make money off these stocks is when you eventually sell them. So when the market goes down, there's more incentive to sell these stocks. So you want to get stocks that are less volatile to the market. High dividend stocks do great. And what's great about them is if the market does not actually go down and the market still goes up, then you'll still be getting gains from the stock market. However, if the market goes down, then at least you're somewhat protected from a drop, even though, yes, you will still get a big hit. You will still be somewhat protected because it won't go down as much. Number two way to invest during a recession. Again, where you want stuff that is not as volatile to the S&P 500 or the market going down. We want stuff that will keep its value when the recession happens, the market goes down. A great way is investing in gold. Gold is not correlated to the market. What I mean by this is just because the S&P 500 goes up or just because the overall market goes up does not mean that gold goes up. And just because the market goes down does not mean that gold goes down. There's less correlation. So when a market drops, if you're holding gold, maybe it will drop in value. But a lot of times gold can remain as value or even go up during a market drop. So having a small percentage of your portfolio in gold 
you know, whether it's zero to 10% or zero to five, depending on your preferences. Remember, always talk to a financial advisor to get, you know, when it comes to investing, gold is a great way to get you that diversification and really protect yourself from downside risk of stock, the stock market crashing. Number three investment when it comes to coming out on top during a recession. And that, of course, is your job. Now, it's not only important to invest in the capital markets, but you need to invest in yourself. Now, in a recession, job security takes an all time low and a lot of people get laid off. But if you can keep your job or get an even better job and make more money, then the cash you're bringing in is worth way more than it is in a recession than it is in an economy expansion. Right. When no one has money and you're still getting money in every month, that can be used to buy such low and cheap stocks. So keeping that cash flow in from your job is so important. So make sure that when you're working, you build that job security within your company or within your industry. There, that means you're networking more in your company. You're taking on more aggressive projects. You're really making your name in your company, trying to move up, you know, building your resume, really refining, shaking friends with people, shaking hands with friends that you used to go to university or school with really making sure your job security is secure so if, even if you get fired in your company you're able to find a job somewhere else very fast making sure you invest in your job and have that primary source of income intact during a recession is one of the best ways to be prepared if and when it actually happens. And number four thing is being able to buy and flip in a recession remember when the market drops, everyone loses a lot of their money and they'll be forced to sell a lot of their things at a discount. If you're able to be the buyer and the flipper in a time like that, so you can buy stuff on Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji and flip it on Amazon or eBay or a local you know, pawn shop. If you're able to know what the markets, know how to buy and flip things online, you can really get those profits and have yourself a sustainable source of income in a recession. This is a great way for you to turn a side hustle into an income generating property. And if you get laid off from your job, then at least you have something on a part time basis that you can do to generate yourself income still. And number five way to invest in a recession or when a recession's coming up is cash. Cash is king in a recession. So a lot of people every month, they're contributing more money to their 401k, more money into their Roth IRA or more money into their investment account. And this is great because you're consistently investing, consistently getting your money up, consistently building your wealth by investing in these stocks. However, if a recession is coming up, just make sure that you maybe want to think about upping the percentage of cash in your portfolio. Now, you don't have to sell anything. You don't have to sell any stocks, but maybe when you're reinvesting money, you put more towards just cash and maybe less towards stocks. Maybe if you're in a different currency, you put more towards US dollars or maybe invest in you know your own currency wherever you're from if you're not from the US. Make sure that you have a percentage of your money in cash, because if the market does drop to 20 to 30 percent, remember, cash is king. So everything is on sale. And if you have cash and it, cash will obviously keep its value, you'll be able to quickly scoop up every, all those stocks, all those companies, all of those items on a discount and be able to grow your wealth in spectacular fashion. All in all, there is a lot of people who make a big percentage of their wealth in market downturns by just waiting and being patient and being less aggressive in the market. Maybe pull some of your money in stocks, put some of it in bonds, put some of them in cash. Being prepared for when the market falls is important, but of course it is really hard to time the market. Who knows, the market could be on a boom for the next five years. So you don't wanna completely pull out of stocks or completely pull out of your investments, but just make sure it's not as aggressive if you feel that you know a big bull run is coming in and be prepared with for the actual recession when it comes. So I hope these five things really helped and got you ready to invest when a recession comes. Let me know how you're preparing for the recession. Of course, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video or if you thought that this was a great way to prepare for a recession. And let me know some things that you're planning to do when it comes to recession to really take advantage of it. Once again, my name is Fly Stewie and the best, the most brightest investors are the uneducated ones. Why is that? That's because the uneducated investor 
They never stop learning. Thank you, Flight Crew, for rocking with this video. And as always, we have to take off.